Hey folks, welcome back to Mountain Core, our town of noble axe. I'm just appreciating these old gnarled trees with all their leaves missing in the winter. Since winter is about to end, day 38, so 40 should be the end of winter and back to 1 for spring year 2. Uh, are we running? We are now. <clears throat> I went through and played with the priorities and picked some things to get done, like all of our trenches. If they're willing to dig them in the winter, then let's get those dug, as well as, well, we can't do any gardening, so maybe the farmers will take care of that stuff. Um, what else? Rocks to haul, cleaning things up, a little more of this new stockpile dug out. Um, spring is coming, so probably should think about these other four bedrooms. We're using pretty much these eight right now, so we could use another eight, assuming we have a decent haul. I took the... right... oh, they've already hauled it away. Nice. Where'd they put it? Maybe somebody... I took the, the fishing pole off of... out of the trader. Where did it get put? <clears throat> I don't know. Somebody's carrying it, I guess, because it was right there, and now it's gone. And this fishing pole is still here. Fishermen, who do we have? Because I do want to get them to start to... Oh, look at that! I've never noticed animations from this screen before. I think it's pretty cool. It's just kind of stuck there now, but... <laughs> yeah, those must all be... Oh, walking or, yeah, hauling. Um, we have Halevi, and we have Magnahild. Oh, and we have Solve. I will, I will guess that is pronounced. And you are Inger. You're not one of them. So you are Magnahild. No, there's no fishing pole there. You are Halevi. There you are. No fishing pole there. And at the very end, you... No, you don't have one either. Okay. Just curious as to who took the fishing pole and where they took it to. It's not sitting in this one. It's supposed to be sitting in this one, but it's not there either. Unless that was just a picture calling for one. Oh, that's what it was. Never mind. Yeah, it was just a picture calling for one. Anyway, changes that have happened since we last spoke, or... Yeah, recorded. <laughs> um, there were complaints about the idea of, oh, where's a good, I guess, no, that's not a good example. Where's a good example? Having to choose, okay, where's a plank of wood? Okay, input. The, what kind of logs do we want in this? And you used to have to hit the side arrows to go from, birch to cedar to dogwood to what whatever is in the list and the the length of the word would change where that little side arrow was each time you have to keep chasing it so we've now got the drop down menu so we can pick much easier not scrolling through a long list so that's one improvement to the game um i'm told that bread making works now and should be no more problems so i guess it's time for us to start thinking about getting the uh, the bakery in um what else the chests now take multiple types of coins so that's wind is blowing i did that the first day of winter too hmm it apparently does it just before a snowstorm okay that's what it is. And this game, Mountain Core, has qualified for Steam's upcoming games. There's, there's a name for that. Something un upcoming. Popular upcoming. I think that's what it's called. So it's on that list now, which means more people are noticing it, hitting their wish list, and which is going to, if it qualifies, put it on the front page of Steam the day that it releases. So that is the hope now. Everybody watching this, stick it on your wish list just to just to help them out. Anyway, we are whoa, we are digging trenches like crazy. Let's add a few more to that that one. Right in there. Otherwise everything seems to reach. Yep, that looks good. Priorities <clears throat> right there. Priorities on the I did ask on the Discord to 
figure out why these keep dropping back down to normal when kitchen is set for highest. I did though set the fields for highest and noticed that when I started putting priorities into the fields they were popping in it at the same priority as the field was set. So that's the way it's supposed to work without having to go manually go in and say no 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 get to work on this. Now I can tell them you know at the very beginning and they'll do it but it's not happening in the kitchen to the cauldrons. They I have to still manually do it. But that's just a tiny little thing to worry about. We're clearing these out. That looks good. You are something to be mined. I take it that Halevi will get there eventually. Um, anybody fishing? I need to know if they can fish in the winter. And I've not been able to get a fishing pole onto anybody, which might be because they don't fish in the winter, so they don't even go and pick it up. That's possible. This one's been sitting here just waiting for somebody to do something with it. But then I keep giving them lots of other jobs too, so it's probably my fault. There is a levy, and she is drinking water. Now, this is the closest mining job to that water. Let's see where she goes next. I suspect it's here. Yep, there it is. So they will attack the closest job that qualifies next, which is good to know. You can kind of plan that way. Anyway, you are in here working on things like barrels. I probably have plenty of barrels now, don't I? I do. Let's stop them making barrels. It's, yeah, it's, it's time. Oh, that's one thing. Last time, I was trying to figure out how the limit system worked. And I could not find the cauldrons in that list for anything. What I've heard on the Discord was that it's based upon what is here. And here, products... Yeah, I scrolled too fast. No, what are products? That is products. Okay, it was here last time. <laughs> it's not raw materials. Seeds, tools, no. Granary, it was in products, and now it's not. Okay, it's going to make a liar of me. So sometimes there is a thing such a thing as an item being built into something. The three blocks that it took to make this, this chair... Um, or two blocks, I think it is, are blocks until they go into the chair, then they cease to exist. So something that is, you know, a barrel that is used to build this guy, once it's put in here, it's no longer a barrel. So it is no longer listed with all of the barrels. So that thought was, you know, if I couldn't find the cauldrons on that list, then that's because they're part of the furniture now. But at the moment that I was looking, they weren't. They were sitting down here or they were ready to be moved. And so they did show up on the list. I saw it as I was editing last time, but now I can't find them at all. So I'm going to set this as four. I want four, a limit of four in the, the, um, our place at any one time. But I still don't know what that really does or means. Will, if I set this four cauldrons, will they just keep going in, until it hits four and then this will zero out? So I'm curious to see how that works. Um, what else could we do to test that? Something like planks. Okay, so we have how many planks available right now? Is that a way to test it? That is products. Planks should be down at the bottom. Do we have no planks? We have planks. 30. So if I set a limit of 34, 32? Let's see what happens if we set a limit of 32 planks. So where am I? You. There. Planks from logs. Can I type? Doesn't look like it. Okay. 32 times. And if I think of it, I'll go back and check that out, see what that means. See if we get to 32 and stop. We get 32 and the orders go away. Or just just how, how, how do you regulate something like that? You must have dropped off some more staves. You would have picked them up from here? I don't know what you just did. <laughs> we'll never know. Collecting sandstone pipe. So we do have a pipe over here, which we've called to pouring rain. 
to get put into the pipe system here. In fact, maybe we can watch him do it. There's a tapping noise. Who was that? Who was that masked man? He probably went to bed. Never mind. You have a pipe in your... Yeah, yeah, you went to bed. So, that was odd. <laughs> you are carrying barrel staves. So, we've got a a call for barrel staves for some reason. That'd be the second person that has done that. You're carrying blocks. I wanted to get more blocks out into here at least so that it's closer to where we're building blocks. But we have got the... Looks like the final day of winter. Snow's gone away. Starting to warm up. Wonder how quickly we're going to see leaves on the trees again. I just heard noises. Yeah, they are eating. Slurping their soups. Soups of carrot and deer. And carrot. Ten and four. So soon we're going to get the order to move these back over. Then I, I guess we could see if we suddenly have a cauldron in our products. Yeah, real slow. No cauldrons. We have four pipes available, but four pipes, but none are available. Hmm. Wonder if they're all in somebody's inventory. Where did you go? Must have gotten up by now. Anyway, pipes. They're not being built yet. Okay. Pipes are made here. We do have... We have two sitting over there. So, and that is a higher priority. I want to get that going. I have turned the fields off that died. No longer going to allow hop seeds, hemp seeds, tomato seeds, and corn seeds to be planted. Let's not plant them until we've got this figured out. I'm pretty sure they must grow at like half the rate when they're not being watered. And there doesn't seem to be a way to water them. I'll wait till spring when we get our our calling for things happening and priorities starting to show up. Every time I've seen that and clicked on it, it's been for pests, for, for bugs. I've never seen it actually happen for watering. So I don't think they go to grab a bucket and go over and water a spot. So it either rains or it gets watered by the uh, the trench, the irrigation trench. Fire? No. Where's the fire? Go to location. We're already paused. Yep. Remember I said I want to get these walls built? Something here is lit on fire. Something spark has come out of this guy. And yeah, this isn't good. So orders extinguish. It is right here. So the sparks have lit this guy on fire. I've probably got it built too close, don't I? Here I am trying to save space and pack things around it. Yeah. Well, she's here, and there's water there. And when you do the extinguish, it automatically takes it to the highest priority. Though it's hard to tell right now because the space was already highest. But let's... You are crafting a barrel. Drop that off. Let's see what order you get next. Oh! <laughs> Inger was in there. <laughs> Hiding in there somewhere. You are hauling. You are putting out a fire. Oh, good. So, but where are you going? Oh, you got to go find a bucket. Oh. Okay. Then, did I not turn that off? I thought I did. I sure talked about it. Let's turn you off and go to buckets. Let's get some more buckets made. And let's get a stockpile for products right here. And you are going to be nothing but buckets on the highest priority. Let's get a bucket sitting here all the time. And we still, I at one time had a water barrel in here and then I got rid of it to go do something else. Let's take you over here and let's build, well, these should probably not be here, huh? Anyway, somewhere down in here needs to be a barrel, a, a water barrel. Could be here, could be right, that's a doorway. About right in here. Hmm. Yeah, let's, let's go there. What are you now? You're a smithy. You're a smithy. Somehow they got moved over there. Okay, let's put in a kitchen plus right there. In that kitchen is going to be a water barrel. And that water barrel is going to be highest priority. 
and that kitchen is going to be highest priority. <clears throat> okay. Anyway, while that fire is burning, it could be spreading without us noticing. So I found if I extinguish once in a while, when it just starts to spread to the next one, it'll trigger that and get more of them coming. Right now, there's only one job, so only one dwarf is being called to do that one job. Here she is. And she put it out, and that is it. Okay, our first disaster is averted. There's no sense yet of deterioration or rot or wear that I'm aware of. So there's no, this isn't like 50% hit points gone or anything. It's, it's, it's okay again. Get it put out and you're fine. Otherwise, it completely destroys and you've got to start over. And if that, what destroyed was your tool forge and the last of your tools that you needed to get them made are gone. Yeah. I should probably think hard about uh, uh, export, about getting some orders here, besides cauldrons. But to get cauldrons going, highest priority, cauldron, highest priority, we need, that's right, we needed planks. The cauldron called for planks and ingots, and I only put plates and ingots out. So planks are going to go here, kick your priority up too, so that... These guys are always filled. That's the only place I'm aware of that uses... I gotta take that back. I need to make sure that I've got two plates left for this guy. Three. So let's not get everything hauled to that slot. And then there's nothing left to draw from. Okay. Well, we are finishing up. We're in spring now. Good. In spring. And priorities are hitting. This priority doesn't say. Let's do that again. Any plants with priorities on them? No. Uh, just to get out here and get to digging. Okay. That's fine. So we set this one for carrots right across from the carrot one. And we are making pipes. Two of them there. We've got one that got just got made. Still sitting in the workbench. Folks are starting to get up. Priorities here are set right. Okay, just let them do their thing. We get these moved eventually. Just looking at... Basically, the by clicking on priorities here, you're seeing all of the jobs that are potentially being called up and listed somewhere. So there's a list of trees to be cut down, but they're not as high a priority as these other jobs to get done. These rocks all need to be hauled down to here, so they're closest to here. To restock these guys. Speaking of, okay, you're the ones with the jewels or gems, rough gems. You are the ones that get the ore, so it's just these three for regular rocks. So one person can stand here. That's what's different. Interesting, I saw this. That must be the priority of the bench itself, but it's not. So, I wonder what that is. Let's say do it anyway, and let's see if suddenly we start getting people uh, using this thing again. Ah, study all those little things. So you're making plates. That's good. We have lots of ingots. So plates are being made. Eventually, if we get more... Do we ever find copper? I thought we did. You're tin. No, we didn't. Yeah, copper is more orangey, or it's green. There's two different things that make copper. So we may need to go digging. That's red, that's black, and that's gems. So we need to go dig a little more deeply, but I've been really hesitating doing that until we've uh, got more dwarves available to start some kind of a militia or a military. So who knows what we're going to dig too deeply and greedily and discover deep in this mountain. Can we handle it? All right, we got a door there, we got a door there, a door there. Let's kick up the priority in these walls here and get these done. So we're a little bit more isolated from uh, fires. And then... Boy. These are too close to that, and I didn't leave myself a way of getting around that, did I? Kind of built my way all around the places to even... Well, I guess they're still able to work 
even though these are the spots they need to stand. Okay, well that's good. All right, so we are into the spring. We need to be planting. Well, I guess we are planted. Let's pause priorities here. Okay, what is needed there? Right there. This plant has been watered recently. He's growing afflicted by pests. Okay, it rained. That's why he's been watered. But I'm pretty sure they don't water them themselves. We need to get this going. Which means we really need somebody working all the time. You're back to that. Do you not stay? I wonder if they come build one thing and then it resets to, to normal. Hmm. Something's cooking over here. You are working this. Making another batch of hematite ore to then go down into here and light our building on fire. I mean make uh, ingots. Mm hmm. So year two, day two, one in the morning. And Darby is just getting to bed. All right, so we have the potential, food-wise though, we have the potential for an immigrant wave. Kind of like uh, nomads in Banished. Though when I played Dwarf Fortress, I remember some of those immigrant waves were pretty big. All of a sudden, your whole kingdom doubled. Um, crops, potatoes, food, 198. When are you guys going to pop? 88%, 83, 79. Okay, we need these guys coming in. We need somebody fishing. We really need somebody fishing. Hmm. Let's really concentrate on that today. What will it take to get more fishing poles made? Maybe we need to get this out of here. It's supposed to go here. Stockpile three. Um, we'll call you sales goods. In those sales goods are fishing rod, plane, rolling pin, shield. Okay. Let's make you bigger, a little more inviting, though it's only 6 of 16 taken. And those are taken by boulders, I'm guessing. You're doing that, and that didn't... Sometimes when you expand stockpiles, it's kind of a bug in the game right now. It then adds whatever the last stockpile was that you made. I don't think I've made any this game, so it shouldn't have added anything. Nope, it just added products to it. So you gotta, if you do an expanding, you gotta go back and recheck to make sure it's what is supposed to be here. Back to just our fishing rod and all that. But yeah, any move, any manipulation of a stockpile tends to change its configuration. So do keep an eye on that until that bug is stomped out, which they are doing, you know, almost daily. There's, there's always updates coming down to this game. It's just a matter of, of being able to figure it out, as well as you know, adding a few more features before early release or early access which is just coming up in a few days now may 18 this game is out all right so we are getting meals we fishing there it is you transferring so did you just drop off a fish were you already out fishing no what are you transferring? Oh, never mind. I saw this at the very beginning and thought that was what was active. Never mind. She's still doing just her thing. <laughs> Let's watch her, though. She is transferring a bucket. We need to go get more water somehow, or for some reason. Yeah. Well, while you're up there, take a look at the uh, fishing ground. And That's right. There is also these guys. I wonder if these are the fishing hot points or you know what if I were to do that what would happen would that call fishing into being what are the hidden little things within this game to help figuring that all out anyway I need to get you out of here how do I do that we saw once by deleting this and redoing it suddenly the system started to work again and then we saw by adding this they started making blocks again. So there are little problems that build up and they it's like the game stops recognizing some things. I wonder if it stopped recognizing this. Let's zero all of these out. 
wait a little while, then maybe reset them for something else. And I wonder if by turning them to zero, or none, if they will then clear these and empty them. Priorities here are still the highest. Okay. And we are going to need more buckets, so it wouldn't hurt to go ahead and kick this guy up to match the other ones. Um, yeah, there's no other use for barrel staves. There are other uses for hoops, but I think it's all here. So let's kick those up to you. We can go ahead and bring everything over that we have and clear out the other stockpiles in the process. Okay, you are moving a barrel just to get rid of it. Now, barrels are being stored over here. So you're going to dump that off. We have a shield over here, too, which we don't want. We have a couple shields. Okay, so let's get out of this stockpile our sales goods. So that would be weapons. And these shields we don't want here. And then we don't want the, let's see, tools. We don't want the fishing rods, the rolling pins the planes. Okay, so we get all those out of there. No fishing poles in here? No. Okay, so you're gonna get something else out of here that shouldn't be? Nope, you're not. But it's interesting she emptied that one. After I increased it. Because she... Immigration. It did work. Because she can't make a bucket until she gets rid of the barrel. So she must have got the command to go make a bucket, which we had just set it to do. Let's go to location. And we're coming out of way down over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, ho, ho, we did it. Food, 546, because they're bringing their own rock bread. Okay. We have... 14 dwarves now. And then there were 14. I just titled this episode, didn't I? Um, you are building a bucket. Yep, crafting a bucket. So crafting is over here. And when they build something out of stone, it's called sculpting. That's what we found out last time. And I, yep, that makes sense. I was thinking of pottery, but chiseling out of stone. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, anyway... I need somebody to... Oh. Let's think about that. We now have 14 dwarves. Yeah. Lots of fisher, pe fisher people. <laughs> I'm going to pause here and look through these very carefully. And try to come up with a nice even balance as to who can do what. I'll be right back. Well, I noticed a few things. The ones that just arrived here at the end have got skills and things that we haven't been doing. Brewing, weaving, leatherworking, fishing. So skills in things that I don't think showed up the first time. First ones were farmers and miners and carpenters and, and loggers. Loggers? Woodcutters. I'm a logger. And so now we've got different skills that have shown up that are natural skills. Not skills that we're forcing them to do. Like Darby, who we were trying to convince to be a... There's not a good... There we go. A stonemason. And so four or five. I put Darby's woodcutting and blacksmithing back in. Now she's... All of her skills are at her maximum again. So basically everyone except for Osmond, who I had do something else and actually did a pretty good job at it. So now has three uh, professions that uh, I assume he is good at. So I left the villager off of and, and grabbed all three of those skills. Everybody else has got villager, I believe, at the back end. So we have lots of hauling available when the other jobs are not available. But that gives us two chefs at a 10 and a 50. Gives us blacksmiths. And I tell you, the game gets so much easier the second year when that first wave of immigration comes in. 14 population. And apparently there's a time that comes when there are so many you can't, you know, oh, please don't send me anymore. It's like the nomads and banished. You can turn it off. But um, carpenters, 
we've got 4, 30, 60, 50, 50. And farmers, yeah, 39, 69, 40, 46. Weavers, these are new, 30 and 50. Woodcutters, 56. Oh, we do have, so Magnahild, I did not fix you. So we made you a stone mason because we were desperate. But you are naturally a, I guess, hmm, these two you were playing with. Your stone masonry is only a zero or a one, so that doesn't count. We already have four farmers. Let's do another carpenter? Carpenters. We now have five. Farmers, we have five. So it doesn't really, it doesn't really matter. So where are you right now? Um, where was I? Here? So that was Magna Hill. So you, we made you a farmer. Why am I not seeing that name? We did not make you a farmer. We made you a carpenter. There you are. Okay. Since that skill isn't necessary because we have plenty, and that skill isn't necessary since we have plenty, and woodcutters, we have plenty, I think you are our first permanent military. The novice brawlers, and I want to change that. They need to be the noble brawlers, not the novice brawlers. What is this? Neophyte swordsman. Oh, neophyte means the very lowest level. And we have a neophyte axe woman here because she used her axe once instead of back to novice brawler. Okay, so neophyte must be really low. <laughs> Anyway, I where did I get to? Stonemasons, we have two, a 59 and a 30. Brewers, we have 50 and 30. Fishers, we have 30 and 30. And hopefully, since it's their skills and there's no brewing to do, this actually happens now. Leather worker, we have one. And I don't see that being necessary to, to, to need more than one. Artisans, we have none. So we got to think about that because I need some cogs made. Hmm, okay, and villagers. We have, almost everybody's a villager. So what do we have too much of? We have five farmers. Who's our worst farmer? Well, our worst one is pretty darn good. Hmm. Carpenters, we have four. Anybody really poorly qualified? So which of these first two there? Ten, chef. So, but boy... It'd be nice to have a backup chef. Who do we switch over to become an artisan that isn't very good at what they're already doing is what I'm trying to get at. Um, let's go back to here. So 10s, 30. Are there any 20s? 30 seems to be our lowest all the way through. Okay, well, in that case, carpenter. Let's get rid of the 30 carpenter and make you an artisan. Okay, so once that shows up, you get to try your hand at whatever it is. Though will you ever with mining and stone masonry? There's lots of stone. No, there's not lots of stone masons, so you're always going to be busy. So that was probably not a wise call there. Okay, so who else can we get rid of that we have too many of? I guess it's farming. I guess 40 is our lowest. Oh, that hurts. I mean, when the farming happens, you want it to happen and to have a whole army go out there and do it. That's that's actually a good thing. Now, this is wood cutting. Not So, planks are made by carpenters or woodcutters? You are made by a woodcutter. And down here in the carpentry shop, you are a carpenter as well. So, carpenter there. And I said carpenter here, right? Yeah. No, oh, no. Woodcutter. I saw woodcutter. I remember saying woodcutter, but I thought carpenter. So we do need a woodcutter, and we need a carpenter. And we need a woodcutter. Hmm. All right, so I, need to, I just need to make an executive decision. We do have three woodcutters, actually. You guys are the same. So let's up with weaving for artisan work 
kit. You are a weaver or an artisan or you are a villager. All right. So that has been decided. All of the the categories are fulfilled. And our fishers are Gusta and Gunborg. Steelsmith. Gusta Yellow Axe. So I wish I could see without clicking on them. Well, that's not going to do any good anyway. doesn't say that you are on your way to do something. But you have got optimistic uh, about new settlement plus 40. That's nice to see. Thora, looking to see if any of these say on my way to go and pick up something. You know, to see what their, their first plans are. I do need to think about giving them a place to sleep. We're at 7 p.m. already. We've got... Uh, no beds made. So that's 12, 13, 14. No, that's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. Two people are not going to have a mat to sleep on tonight. So let's double up. Hmm. Let's give you guys a space over here. There's no disturbed sleep in this game. So minus two spaces. Throw in a bedroom right there and add a couple of sleeping spots which insta build boom and now we have 14 beds temporarily okay we've got plenty of miners so let's get in here and set some more mining tasks you guys you guys and you and we'll get ready for the next wave as well and may as well go ahead and say guys just go for it give us although they're not using this this uh, stockpile, and I don't know why, but we have lots of labor now. Now, gardening-wise, how are we doing? I think everything has been replanted that can be replanted, though this is the time to think about adding. So this is wheat, and we still have 16 more, or barley, 16 more seeds we can put in. So let's do that. 16 more, that's pretty much, let's see here, plus... 3 by 4, I see up there. So that is 12 minus 1, 11. And dare I continue up through here? I think I do. We'll just do something like that. That should be more than enough. So that one's got to get done, and we'll kick... Well, it already is at highest priority, so what does it do automatically? It throws it in highest priority. Good. Carrots, we have used all the seeds. And that is it on seeds. We're not going to do corn because we don't have any irrigation yet. Okay, so to get more irrigation, I wonder if I want two of these setups going. That might be the wise way around this. But where to? Let's dig deeper into here. And we that's right, we have a, a Magna Hild who is now our military. So military... Let's get Magna Hild trained up in axe work. Make her an axe woman. Yeah, you are a neophyte axe woman. And let's get you training. Military, your job right now is to train. And you do have a training dummy made. Okay, so you get going. You get going. One of you, one of you. Or did I already do that? I kind of already did that. Okay, right there. But let's get one of everything going. Uh, let's get two going there. We may get another candidate here soon. In fact, I really need to pick somebody, don't I? Let me do that real quick. Well, best I can tell, I'm going to go with Solve, if that's how you pronounce her name. She is a carpenter and a farmer, and we have lots of farmers, and we have lots of carpenters. So that seems to be the the best way of deciding who we can do without so you and you have negative 10 happiness anyway so we'll make you military where happiness doesn't matter <laughs> and the novice brawlers can i off duty right there you are now the noble Hmm. Brawlers. 
Brothers. Okay, because that's all the spaces that I have. The Noble Brawlers. Okay, and we have two, and they are set for a narrow grid formation, and they are set to train. They live here. It'd be nice to get a kitchen near here when we get more. We can get a we can get a water barrel. Well, we have one right here. We can get a cauldron sitting here, and a table sitting here, and a water barrel sitting here, and the military can eat and then do their thing and not have to make the journey up into here. And we can set up a whole little settlement just for our military. But not truly necessary at the moment. We're running, yeah. So we have two military. We have representation in all of the major fields now. And I'd say, oh, we need to, let's see, here, here. You are going to be, you are, hmm. A pickaxe. I wish I knew how much damage these things would do. You're better at a pickaxe than anything else. <laughs> Were there any other choices? I think it only gave me the choices of what is available, and all we have right now are a couple of pickaxes. Yeah. Can't let, let's let's choose the pickaxe and let's see if we see her training with a pickaxe. I'm curious to see if that's really a thing. Whatever tool you give them or weapon, until we have real weapons. Which I guess is our kind of our next priority. Okay. So we're running. We're running nice and slow. And oh, they're just getting here for the first time. They're all going to get some water. They're all going to get some food. Oh, we have no foods, people. What is this? Highest priority. Yeah, that needs to be fixed. This needs to remain a high, highest priority. There's no way to tell the room to reset to that anyway or either. Darn. Okay. Yeah, we don't have any food in stock. Do we have any kind of fish? We do not. Um, are you guys exhausted? No, you're you're fine. So you're all going to eat your uh, your rock bread rations. You're all going to find some places. Oh, you went to bed. You're you're exhausted. Okay, you're tired. Everybody else, you are clearing brush. You are clearing brush. Clearing brush. Mining sandstone rock wall. Drinking water. Who were our fishermen? Thora. Uh, no. Okay. You went to go get your pickaxe to start your weapon training. Cool. And... Trying to see if anybody's going to walk down here and get this. If not, we at least have an awful lot more haulers, villagers. We should start seeing pallets cleared out. You are bringing stones. Maybe construction is the first priority. Get all the building materials out there. That makes sense. So we'll get those delivered. We're delivering over here. Picking that one up. Delivering over here. Hey, delivering's happening now. But I want to know how quickly we can go fishing. Sleeping and hauling potato seeds. So fishing still isn't a thing. Okay. So, I think it would be wise to give us some more room here. I wish I had given us more room there, but it's too late to go back. Um, I could possibly bump this area up into here and put some pallets up there instead and get these away. But we can still salvage this one. Let's make us some more space, clear all that out, and build a new wall. Down here. Oh, we have a door there. Well, if we do this, well, that's not quite what I wanted. And now that's in the pathway. Yeah, that didn't work out. Um, hmm. Not much more I can do with that. I hate to have to move that. We'll leave it like that. They'll just have to walk around the barrel. And a door there. And we can move these guys further down. And probably delete these and reset, restart them and see if that's what it takes to get these active again. We'll do that. And let's put in some more of the export pallets right down there. See if that makes a difference. We've got plenty of... We don't. Pall uh, oh, okay. We were going to check that. So now we have in planks... 25. Okay. So we never really got around to making more. 
the orders are still set to 32. Okay. So I don't know if we're going to prove anything there or not. You're making lots of plates. Four plates, two more ingots. You are making three iron plates. So let's take that down. I think we've got plenty of iron plates now. We'll go back to making ingots. I don't think there's anything wrong with making too many of these guys. We don't need the raw ore for anything else that I'm aware of. You are moving blocks around. Okay. Let's, let's say let's get these built pretty quick. And for that matter, let's get these built. Get those blueprints finally over with. These two. Get all the, the construction done. I think that's all of it. Okay. And you are set for highest priority, so you'll always stay full of water. And we're going to need another bucket over here, too. So we just need more buckets. Yeah. Let's copy you, put you right there. You are now another products, none except for buckets, and high priority. <clears throat> so one improvement I would request, in fact, I think I have requested it on the Discord, was that when you click into a a stockpile and hit plus and go somewhere else that it would take those qualities with it you can create another duplicate stockpile that way and that's i'm sure it's very possible it's just the, the to-do list has got to be huge right now of all the things that would be great if only you know um i'm missing a wall there so let's grab you Build wall there and make you equal to the other ones. All right. So we've moved things into place. I always keep my inputs at max so they're constantly full and ready to go. So we're having an input problem here, aren't we? Yeah, we have no logs. Okay. So we have lots of haulers. Let's go bring in logs. I knew there was some over here somewhere. There they are, all the threes. So we have been doing some shopping. Good. So let's bring in the logs that are all nearby. Okay, that's good there. There's some more. Yeah, that's close enough. And get those brought in. And then we'll get back to making planks again. We have plenty of stones. So there's no excuse why this isn't working. We're set to the highest there and there and there. Hmm. I guess I can't complain. We've got plenty of blocks, so they have been doing it. I just haven't been seeing it. Okay. You are over here wondering what to do with your life. You just woke up, and you're going to go get some foods. You are idle. You are eating. So you aren't needing anything, but this is your time to go do something. So you're idle. Hmm. You would normally be, I don't know, chipping out a block or something at this point hauling things around you're idle eventually oh you don't have enough no you are the axe woman you do have you know that's not an official weapon that's a tool will they train I think she's training yep she is whacking that thing with her pickaxe at least it's not like Stranded Alien Dawn or after they practice on the dummy, they have to go rebuild a dummy. This one just lets you attack it infinitely. But we do need another dummy going, which means we need three planks, which means we need logs brought in, which is still not happening, unless that's what you guys are all about to do. Hauling a pike. Oh, we're fishing again. Look at that. Drop it on the chopping block, waiting for a, a, uh, a chef to show up. So, fish, not there, but you're not using the fish barrel. Hmm, why are you not using the fish barrel? I don't know. That should be full of fish. Maybe only works when there's more fish in the stockpile than we can keep up with the butchering. But she just butchered, somebody just butchered, and dropped the potatoes. The fish is right there. Potatoes... Set you to the highest priority and get this guy hauled over. You have one potato soup left. Someone's going to go eat that. We need someone to grab the fish fillet, drop it into the pot. Or put it in the stockpile. 
Yeah, to go grab a pipe. <laughs> and put it away over here. Okay, you're no longer going to be pipes. Pipes, pipes, pipes right there. You are going to be pipes down here. There's our fishing pole. You're going to be pipes down here. Ah, uh, boy, where was I? I was in products. That's closer to where they're made. That makes more sense. Pipes are going over here. We have a fishing pole. Okay. And can we get more fishing poles? So we've emptied these. So let's turn them back on now. And see if anything happens. Plain rolling pin. You are back to shields. You are still buckets. Till I get a bucket sitting in all these spaces, you are still buckets. Okay. Which means I don't want any buckets in here anymore either. So you buckets turn off. I want the buckets in play all the time. They have plenty of stockpiles now. So what's it going to take to make a cauldron? Hey, things are happening now that we have extra bodies to do the work. Year two. That's the year. Okay. Cauldron. We have limits of four. Nothing has changed here. We have... I always go for that one for resources for some reason. Products. Cauldrons. One available. So it's not counting the two that are being used. Okay. Or it is... I don't, I don't know, but we definitely have one down here. So once he gets hauled away, and we I see an any, we can have a bronze cauldron, a copper, tin, iron. Yeah, nice. You are cassiterite. Where are you being stored? I guess it's among the first ones that we've actually chopped. Okay, good. And that tree is still there. Hmm. Did these not get planted? We still have 16 seeds. We're on day four. Why are we not planting seeds? Our farmers, we they're all right at the first job on the list. And they're good, skilled ones. And our priorities are just not here. Interesting. You as a whole have a highest priority. But they don't want to plant them. Hmm... Okay, what's going wrong there? Don't know. These are dead. I I guess disable, maybe that's confusing them by being on the highest priority. Whatever happened with the hops? Oh, we're regrowing now. So the hops were able to try again. Okay. How are we doing with pipes? We're getting a couple installed. Okay. And how are we doing up here? You are the highest priority, but nothing's been brought up here. You know, I'm going to rebuild that. Just in case that is a thing. You are here. Water. That is the water wheel. And put you right there. And same thing here. Just these iron plates. There's no reason why they couldn't have been brought. Two are available. None have been assigned all that labor and all that moving things around just in case that is a little buggy you are canceled you water water pump oh which one was it water it's right there water pump okay you are highest priority you are highest priority okay let's see if we can get something happening there this time by summer I would love to have that going um, and I've been doing so much pausing and checking doing things I have no idea how long I've been running I'm gonna guess 45 to 50 minutes now so a little bit longer I talked about rebuild or adding another one of these but then I was trying to figure out where to put it what is the bang bang oh that was this okay so let's see what it takes to get that to happen same thing did we ever get logs brought in we did and we have some planks so they may be already uh, allocated to something else you are the highest priority everything here looks good up here cauldrons let's get you set to the highest priority get you hauled 
quickly. And we've got a third cauldron now, which should be sitting here soon. Once someone decides to haul it from this space. Tanks, I think they're already set to go into here. Where the barrels and buckets and whatnot were. Ah, this bucket is waiting to be brought to its final destination. Let's speed that up, along with that stone and that pipe. And what are you? You are an ingot. You just you don't know where you want to be. And we've got these shields, which aren't being called to move over. That's interesting. You are still calling for shields? There are two shields in the list, aren't there? We're weapons. Shield and shield. I wonder which one is which. Huh. Well, we'll call for both shields in here then. Add spaces right there. And down to the bottom, we'll do both shields. Maybe that will help us figure things out. Over here is just a picture. So the other shields must come out of the, the weapons forge. All right, so I think it's time to risk digging too deeply and greedily. Let's get further into here and get us some space for some more uh, stock, more uh, work areas, rooms. I'm just thinking about when I play Dwarf Fortress, I have one great big stockpile, and then I have all of the. I wish I could think of the names of the of what this would be in Dwarf Fortress. A well, I guess just a workroom, but there's a name for them over there on you know in a row on each side of the big stockpile and all of the supplies they need would be in the middle and then off to the sides i can put maybe a finished stockpile the products that each one makes stored over there then we can it kind of separates everything out I'm trying to decide what i want to do here go to location traders have arrived oh we're coming in from the top this time so we're going to be here immediately do i actually have anything to sell kind of but not much that's unfortunate. We're not selling fishing poles, and apparently we're barely using it. Who are fishers again? You are hauling a beach bucket and hauling a potato. Why are you guys not fishing? I wish I could answer that. Back to here. These are, if that those are fishing spots, they are set to a high priority now, and it's not helping. Hmm. If I gave you no other job... I might have to do that. We don't need a... Although, you're going to be a villager no matter what. What if I gave you a job that's nothing to do? I made you a... Back to brewer. I made you a weaver. So there's no brewing to do. There's no weaving to do. Will you just fish all day long? That'd be nice to know. Let's keep an eye on Gasta. And see what happens. When you're done hauling this bucket, and it's not time to go to sleep. Good. Why, you put it here? Why didn't you put it there? I'm kidding. You went fishing. You had nothing else to do, so you went fishing. All right. We're going to start getting fish in. Now, can I do that with my chef? Okay. Right there. The other fisher was a chef. Okay. Oh, I hate to do that, but... Okay, let's go this route. Hmm. I guess that's it. One person bringing in fish all day long. Although it'd be nice to have two fishers going. It really would. Let's do the planting. So you are now a weaver, and you are now a brewer. You're only going to chef all day long. Although, of course, you're the one that needs to be doing that. Yeah. Well, we'll go this route for now, see what happens. So do we get chefery all the time? You are... Is that the one? That's the one. Okay. What are you going to do now? Can I get you to just make food all day long? Or I'll eat the food, I guess. Yeah, the, there is that. Mm, okay. You are now making food. We have three potatoes in there. We are making potato soup. Boom, 12 available. Now I need you to actually haul that and go get that one. Okay, there you go. That in there. Now what you gonna do? You're, nope, make that a high priority. 
So you got nothing else to do. But you are bringing in a fish. Good. So you're going to quickly go butcher it. You could be preparing for the next uh, meal. Actually, you could be getting that other cauldron brought up here and get more cooking. That makes sense. But you grab the fish. I'm going to come on over here and do some butchering. Now, normally they do the butchering, then they leave. And someone else hauls it in. You actually are hauling it in? I don't see the... No, you're not. You're going to go get it. No. <laughs> There's a long... Oh, because you got the command to go and haul it. Okay. And you're just going to do a lot of idling now. Is that good or bad? I mean, we don't get to double up and have you also do other things. But... Oh, I see here. But um, you're available as soon as is needed, though. So there is that. Let's get the priority up for the miners get all of these done and this is where we may find more hmm, more of a cavern in there but I'm probably at a point of needing to stop let's set up digging I talked about this and didn't do it because there are too many other mysteries to deal with let's make all of our I'll try and I'll probably probably already have popped up the word of what I'm trying to think of or what to call these things um, down through this area and probably extend this guy down and remember to cut through this time in places yeah um let's also mine out these let's minus those two let's extend this up and around and add a wall around it and give us maybe a pathway through here. So from here we can be dropping off the plates or w grabbing whatever is needed. And we can start storing some of these supplies in here too. So maybe this guy is going to be not just storage to dump off into our trader, which by the way, I haven't been paying attention to them, but it can also be supplies for whatever workshops. Workshops, that's probably what I've been trying to think of all this time, can go into here. Okay, so traders, we do have these guys to think of. They brought with them hemp seeds. They bought a plane. They brought with them linens. But we don't have enough to sell to handle the cost of a linen, do we? Unless something has been delivered. No, that would have been one of these guys so we're not going to get any linens because we don't have anything to sell although this did not get dropped into here that's a shame let's prioritize that and get that done yeah so that was a problem before they wouldn't put the gold into the chest but then after that they wouldn't the chest wouldn't even accept it but now i know they'll be able to pick this up and drop it off in here just a matter of them doing it. Let's let this run just a little bit longer and watch that happen. You are just going to bed? No, you are collecting two wheat seeds. Collecting two wheat seeds. To start planting? Are we finally going to get the wheat planted? You grab the seeds? Let's see what you do. Let me guess, you're going to bed. <laughs> yep, you're going to bed. Okay. Well, I guess I will too. Yeah, let's call this one done. I'll catch you later, folks. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.